Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Fallout 3. Let's get started, shall we? Hold it right there. You're supposed to be in that holding cell. You're not going anywhere. There's a full complement of guards in the next room. As soon as I get them, you're going back to your cell. In a body bag if necessary. I'm on my way to see the prison. I'm gonna Whoa, 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 let's calm down. I'm supposed to be here. On whose authority? I have no records of that. You're supposed to be in a holding cell. The president wants to speak to me in his office. What? No one sees the president except Colonel Autumn. Stand right there while I check this out. Oh, here's one. You know what? Attention! This is Colonel Otto. You are here by order to ignore the President's previous directive. The prisoner from Hall 101 is to be shot on sight. I repeat, shot on sight. This is an order. Oh, I need some clothes.
Am I actually supposed to go to 3A? Nope. No, yes, I am. Okay, so we're off to see the President of the United States after an atomic war. If we're meeting face to face, then show yourself. Don't hide behind a monitor. It's pleasure to meet. Your computer. I should have guessed this much. What can I do for you? You and I have a chance to make our country a better place for all of us. I'd like you to make sure that chance isn't wasted. Understand, I am placing a great deal of trust in you. Your simple presence here proves that. 
what country? Look around. Everything is destroyed. Please go on, I'm intrigued. The good people of this country cannot regain control while the mutation runs rampant through our land. My soldiers cannot stem the tide and not have the cult you've come into contact with this brotherhood of steel. Mutations like these super mutants and ghouls must be purged from our society and our world before we can proceed in you. Where others have failed, I believe your father's work can succeed. My father's workhouse is prevalent. Purify your father helped create has the ability to provide clean water to the whole of this capital wasteland. With a simple modification, it can be used to distribute agents that destroy mutated creatures upon ingestion. In time, we could eliminate all mutations in the wasteland. At the same time, the good people of the world regain their health. I need you to make the modification necessary for this to succeed. So how exactly would I go about doing this? In front of you will be a vial of modified FEV virus. It can be inserted into the control console for the purifier. Doing so will inject it into the water supply, and the purifier will take care of the rest. You just need the code. I'll give you some thought. I understand. It's an unusual request. One I would make if it were to be utmost important. Please understand that I cannot allow you to leave until you've taken the vial. This has to end. You, you need to destroy yourself in the space. I'm afraid I won't be persuaded. Whatever powers you may have over the average wastelander are ineffectual on me. You can't be president. You're a to science. You need to die. Really? Do go on. You aren't, you aren't programmed for self-awareness. You said so yourself. How do you know what you're doing is right? Because unlike humans, I am infallible. How do you know you're infallible? Because I've been programmed to be, of course. That's circular logic. You know because you know it makes no sense. Processing. Internal logic error detected. I think you're delusional. I think the world would be better off without you. Resetting primary memory circuits. Please stand by. Shut yourself down. Shut this whole place down. Processing directive. New directive accepted. Self-destruct sequence initialized. Civilian is advised to remove hazardous FEV material and exit at once. High level functions offline. Self-destruct sequence initiated.
Yeah, you too. On the road again. I can't wait to get on the road again. You miss. We're going back to Vault 101 just because we need stuff. Well, it looks like we're off to help her. Steve. I have no idea who that is, but... There you go, Steve. 
You ain't gotta worry about the meat in your face. And Jim Wilkins. I have a feeling that the overseer just up and destroyed. I just thought I'd stop for back for home a bit. How's the old vault? You just thought you'd pop in. Don't take this the wrong way, but you probably ought to just turn around and not come back. Things, well, they haven't gone very well since you were your dad. This isn't the happy vault you grew up in anymore. They're real trouble. What happened since, what happened down here since I left? Dad wouldn't be horrified to know all that if he was still alive. I, I'm sorry to hear that. Regardless of how things turned out down here, it wasn't good. I always figured he'd do well. As a matter of fact, a lot of folks started thinking he had the right idea. He did. So, if it was safe out there, I stayed out here for him. Well, the overseer didn't like that one bit and started cracking. Down on that sort of thought. Yes, he didn't plan on you coming back. So, what now? I probably ought to put you under arrest and take you in, Overseer. But frankly, I know better than to try that. Meanwhile, some of your old friends think opening the vault is a good idea. I bet those rebels would like a word with you. Now, more than ever. Of course, if you want, you can just walk away as if. Wait, why don't the rebels just leave? It's not that they want to. It's that they want to open the door and interact with the rest of the world. But that would risk the whole vault. Can you leave me somewhere? I guess you've had a lot on your mind since you were here last week. Where do you want to go? I need to see a model. Maybe okay. it's her.
Yeah, I I didn't want that dude to die. Wait here. This doesn't look good. Well, I have to stop the whole boat, my friend. What? You're gonna lock me up like you did the Rotch? You can't cage a tunnel snake, man, because we rule! Stay back! Hey! I can't believe they almost shot you. I tell you, those guards are getting nastier every day. One of these days, it's going to turn real up. But I'll be ready for it. Need to get gills. Don't you know what I'm doing? You almost shot me. I didn't mean to fire. I really didn't. I just wanted to scare him off. I have to go. Yes, you do. into the vault. It takes some real balls coming back here after everything you and your dad screwed up. But if you've got to be back, might as well make yourself useful. Help? What kind of help? What sort of help do you think I need? You must have heard about the changes since you left, right? The deaths, the lies, the whole overseer lockdown thing? Ringing any bells? Man, they'd have rushed in here long ago if they didn't know I stole one of their guns from when they issued martial law. Anyway, you gotta help us get out of here. You gotta help me get out of here. Don't worry, I'm gonna help the entire vault. Man, screw the entire vault. What about me? Even these rebels just want the option to go outside for lousy training and stuff. I just want to get the hell out of here for good. Why stay here and be stuck as a barber for my entire life when I could go out there and make my own choices? What do you think you're going to do outside, Butch? I'll start a gang, of course. Why, it'll be the toughest, coolest, badassest gang the Wasteland's ever seen. Hey, play your cards right, maybe I'll even let you join, huh? Hey, you have no idea how many gangs of idiot raiders are out there. Well, they ain't seen nothing like me yet. Butcher's gonna take that wasteland by storm. Fine, I won't say that. Why should I help you, Butch? You left this place, so I bet you hate it as much as I do. So you can imagine how crappy it'd be to be stuck down here forever, Dan? Are you gonna force all of us to live like that, now that we've learned we can actually leave and try for something new? Just make it so we can get out of this vault, and I'll be gone, man. Then you don't ever need to see me again, okay? Which what do you do in the vault? The damn goat said I'm supposed to be a hairdresser, but that ain't me. I'm a barber, you got that? There's a difference. What happened that night? I heard old Stanley complaining a lot of the stuff down in the reactor got fried pretty bad. But nothing too bad, yet. But he's always worried we'll lose air filtration or whatever. Of course, if that happened, guess we'd all have to leave the vault then, huh? I'll be going now. Catch you later. Hey. Oh my god, you're back! You got my message and actually came back! I just happen to be in the neighborhood, the stuff now. I miss your sense of humor, but I really don't think this is the time for jokes. We're in real trouble. And your help can make all the difference.
I may have left, but this is still where I grew up. I can't leave it in chaos. Chaos doesn't even cover it. It's a nightmare down here. People died that night, and all because my father went crazy to keep someone from opening the vault. And worst of all, then we found out the vault had been opened before. And they lied about it all our lives. Yeah, I found out about that when I left. I guess I should have told you. So why don't you just leave? It's not difficult, especially now. It's not that simple. Just because Butch wants to leave this place behind doesn't mean the rest of us want to go away forever. It's our home, and we want to stay here. It's just that since you left, we started thinking maybe the outside wasn't something to be afraid of. But we can't even suggest going outside to communicate or trade at all. Not with the Overseer keeping us trapped down here. You need to stop him. I think I have a solution for the vault's troubles. Now why don't you just leave? There's not much security. Don't you get it? We don't want to abandon the vault. We want to open it. We still want this to be our home, but we want to get supplies from outside. Trading, exploring, anything's better than just hiding down here. What happened that night? The real problems came after you two left. The injured had nobody to turn to since our doctor had run off and his assistant had died. Now, we've got to rely on that old Mr. Handy for most of our medical needs. But he hasn't exactly got the best bedside manner. Ever had an examination from someone with cold, metal pincers? You don't want to. How's the overseer doing this? I just don't know. Maybe he thinks he's protecting us, but all he's really doing is condemning us. I think I have a solution for the vault's troubles. I certainly hope so. We can't keep going on like this. You need to understand the dangers outside. She just will. The person you should be You will? Sir, I'm not promising anything. He'll be stopped one way or another. He's still my father. He may have made terrible choices that night, but he's the same person who's always looked out for us before then. Maybe he has some reason. Just please don't kill him. Already had too many deaths. Oh, don't worry. I'm not going to. Matter of fact, I'm going to run it her filtration. Rather that. Can't speak that. Don't twist stuff, you know? Wait, was that the right thing to do? Dude, this was my damn room. <laughs> right by the bathroom and everything.
door is inaccessible. Disturbing is the password. Again, water trip service. Game Watcher. 